In today's video, I will be sharing with you my complete fragrance collection. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, we are in a different location today. We're actually in my master bedroom closet where all my fragrances are. And I do one of these collection videos every year around this time of the year. However, this year we're doing it a little different. So in years past, I pulled out every single one of my fragrances and listed them all for you in alphabetical order. It was a big ordeal because pulling out each and every fragrance is a lot y'all it's a lot and then putting them back and i don't arrange them in alphabetical order so it was a lot okay and because of that i had to break it up into like four or five different parts i don't want to do that this year this year we are doing a collection overview it's just going to be one video we're doing it kind of vlog style you can see i don't even have on makeup y'all i got on my workout clothes and um yeah i'm just going to go through my collection and briefly show you what i have i'm not even going to pick up every single bottle so if that's what you're looking for this is not the video for you uh, but you're going to see an honest depiction of what i have i will preface this by saying my collection my storage is not perfect. It is <laughs> working for me right now, but it's not the prettiest to look at. It's not the most aesthetic thing. And that kind of comes from having so many damn fragrances. If I had like 50 fragrances, it would look a lot cuter. But because, but because I have probably over 300 fragrances, it ain't that cute, y'all, but it's working for me. I keep all my fragrances in my bedroom closet because this is actually where I get dressed. And my closet is decently sized, um, but it's not huge. It's not an extra room in my house. This is just the master bedroom closet that we had built in when we got when we built our home. And I actually share it with my husband. So I don't have like buku space for perfume. Half this closet is my clothes or maybe a little bit more than half and half is his stuff and all the perfumes are mine. Now his fragrances, he has to keep in the bathroom, which I know is not the best place, but that's where he has to keep his, okay? <laughs> Anyway, this video is going to be pretty relaxed, so I hope you enjoyed this. It's going to be kind of more vlog style. As we're going throughout the fragrances that I have, if you guys want to see like full collection videos like of a particular brand or anything, let me know. I will tell you that my collection is not set up by brand. I mean, I do have certain brands together, like if I have a lot, for instance, my Zerjoff is all together. But the other stuff is kind of just like get in where you can fit in. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah that's pretty much it i'm out of space guys so yeah i can't really get any more fragrances um without being very creative on how i'm gonna store them so anyway let's go ahead and get into the collection all right so this is my entire fragrance collection you can see that i have a couple of shelves filled up with fragrances and then i also have some trays on the top of my center island in my closet so we're going to start out with the very top section so i'm going to go ahead and take you closer to that okay so i'm hoping this angle is good this is very odd to film because i don't have a ton of space in here but i have y'all open my tripod so at least it won't be shaky anyway we're just going to start in this little section here and i think for each one of these like rows we're going to go kind of down in section because these are actually risers so each one of these i can actually pull out if i wanted to so i have three risers here or these are actually all spice racks that i picked up from uh, home goods I believe I won't be able to link those but if I find some similar I definitely will for you on Amazon but I just really like them because they're clear and they're like a good size and three of them fill up a shelf for me all right so starting in this little section I have three fragrances from Mask Milano um, that were actually sent to me from Max Aroma when we worked together on a video a while ago I have my three bond number no. nine fragrances all together and then I have a little bit of empty space. I had something else here that I've moved out recently. And then over here I have these two Louis Vuitton fragrances. And then moving over, I have my entire House of Siage collection. Now most of these were sent to me, but I did purchase a few. And I have the ones that I'm kind of reaching for the most up front as of right now i mean this always changes but these are the ones that i'm kind of reaching for the most but like i said most of those were sent to me 
a couple I purchased on my own, but I've been so thankful to um, get sent PR from House of Siage this year. Okay, and then on this side of the shelf, I have my one Guerlain uh, fragrance. I mean, I have a couple other Guerlain fragrances, but this one is in a different type of bottle, so it's kind of just by itself and it's tall. I have my one Electimus fragrance, which is Imperium. I have a couple of Rojas and a few fragrance Dubois, and then my Byredos down here on the bottom shelf. Okay, so we have made our way down to this second shelf now, and I'm still on this side of the closet, so we're just gonna start from this side this time around. So let me pull you closer. So this section here are all my Zerjoff fragrances. This whole spice rack is Zerjoff. I do have a little bit of room to grow in here if I get creative with the way that I have those arranged, but I love this little section here because I, I love Zerjoff, y'all. Moving over to the middle of the shelf, which is really hard for me to get to <laughs> as far as with this tripod. So I apologize for the angle, but here are all my Dior Privés. So I have five of the large bottles and two of the smaller bottles. And then I have my MFK collection, which is just these four bottles. And then I'm going to move you over so you can see my Tom Ford section. All right, so this corner is all Tom Ford, and I don't remember how many bottles I have. I've done collection videos on my Tom Ford fragrances before, and I think last year I had like 21 of them or 19 of them, I'm not sure. I think I have around 21 of them, but my collection hasn't really changed that much since last year. So I don't know if I should do like a full collection video. If that's something y'all really wanna see and are gonna watch, <laughs> let me know, um, cause that's kind of a lot to go through all my Tom Fords. That is the most, this is the biggest collection collection of a particular brand that I have and I actually have two more that I just received or I just purchased <laughs> that I will um, share with y'all at the end because they are in a separate spot for right now but anyway um, this is all my Tom Ford and I love this little section so this bottom uh, section is going to be the hardest to show I'm probably gonna have to take y'all off the tripod so if this section gets a little bit shaky you'll understand why but I'll try to kind of move through this section quickly let me zoom you all out so you can kind of see what I'm talking about here so now that you, I have y'all zoomed out a little bit you can kind of see what I'm talking about here I have one two three so we're down on this bottom section here and it's gonna get a little bit shaky for a minute um, so I apologize all right, so as you can see here, these kind of go all the way back. Um, so it's kind of hard to see in person. I can actually see it a little bit better than what you're seeing on camera. So um, yeah, forgive me. But anyway, and this section is kind of like a get in where you fit in. A couple of brands are placed together, but not really. So all the way back there in the back, I do have some of my taller bottles and that's why they're back there. They're also kind of harder for me to get to. So a lot of times I feel like I don't wear these fragrances as much and that's one of the reasons that I use a perfume tray from time to time. Then coming down a little bit, you see I have a couple from uh, Navitas. Um, I have my Guerlain Aqua Allegoria section here, my Armani C's. I have a couple from Reminiscence. And then I have my Kayali collection, which I have quite a few from Kayali. And I'm honestly thinking about putting some on the chopping block. <laughs> I have my reasons. I mean, some I kind of just don't use and then others I kind of feel like, I don't know. We'll, we'll get into that in another video. But anyway, so this is that little section here. Now we're gonna try to attempt to get y'all in the middle, which is gonna be really hard. All right, so in this middle section, all the way in the back, I have my Montal fragrances. I think I have about five or six of them now. And then I have a couple other things kind of just thrown in where they can fit, like this uh, new Rosendo. Um, Matu number five, my Mirabelle, a couple of Juliet has a guns there, other random fragrances like Frank Beauclay, Commodity, um, yeah, and then I have a couple from Lardis and Parfumer, my one from this brand, which is Mulatto Fragrance. This is a newer fragrance to me, and y'all, I love it. <laughs> And then um, I have a couple of my Mugler fragrances. So these are my Angel Goddess and my a couple of my stars have Hypnotic Poison and Glossier U kind of just sitting up in there. And then on this bottom row here, I have my few from Nishane, a Kayali carryover and what is this? Nuit, Nuit et Confidences from Anit Gutal. So I just moved over and I'm on the other side of that same area. So in the back, I have a few from Atelier Colognes and then I have a couple from M. Mikalev. My Mangra Lawn is kind of thrown in the mix there. I have some Tiziana Terenzi's here in this section. And then I have my Killian's. 
So these are all my Killian's. I have some in the regular bottles, some in the liquor collection, my Killian Princess, and then Lamar from Kajal. It's just, it fits right here. So that's why it's there. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is my little Killian section. So now I am standing, I'm on the floor. <laughs> like I'm standing on the ground and this is these fragrances I kind of just squeezed here the other day because I was trying to make space y'all <laughs> trying to fit as many fragrances as I could in here so I moved my Wilhelm perfumery they used to be up on the top shelf I moved them down to create a little bit more space there because the bottles are so little but they're thick like they're round so I feel like they kind of take up a lot of space but anyway um so I have a three from Wilhelm Perfumery and then I have two fragrances from Place Des Lease that I felt like they just looked like they went well <laughs> in this area so I just sat them there all right y'all are back on the tripod so hopefully it's less shaky now uh, but now we're going to go through this little cupcake stand here so hopefully you guys can see that that's a little cupcake that stand that I have there in the middle. Initially when I got that, I thought I would be able to fit like so many more fragrances on there. But um, yeah, it really doesn't fit that many, but I've kind of like put a ton on there. So let's go a little close up to that. All right, so top shelf, we have my few from House of Oud. I have three of them and it's looking a little dusty. It's time for me to come in here and dust this. Um, but this is the only thing that kind of, I feel like it collects dust because there's more empty space on it so I have my um house of oud and then this next section is homage which I happen to really love the way the homage bottles look so that's why they've been on this cupcake stand for a while and I'll probably always have them on here because I just like to look at them when I walk in the closet same with house of oud I like to be able to see them when I walk in and then the bottom of my cupcake rat has all my parfums de Marly. So I have five of them from the women's collection. And then on the back side, I have my initials, which now I have seven of them. And I definitely see that collection probably growing some. So I know it's kind of hard for you all to see, but in person, I feel like I can see pretty much all of my fragrances, except for the ones in the back there. So yeah, um, it works for me. Next to the cupcake stand on each side, I do have these little risers. So at one point I was using these risers for my Tom Ford section it came in like a set of four and they were just different heights I don't use those anymore because I felt like they weren't sturdy and I will easily knock my bottles off but I do use this like little bottom one um, on each side of my cupcake scan stand and it just holds my um, Mugler stars that will not stand up so on this side I have Angel Crocier and the original Angel and then on the other side I think I have Angel Muse and another Angel Eau Grossier, the 2019 version. I'm not gonna worry about going over there to show y'all that because it's just, it's the same thing. All right, we're making our way to the front. So now I have this one tray here. And this tray, I kind of just use for smaller bottles. See if I can pull it out some. So the way that I decided to just put these in here, all of these are kind of short, stockier bottles. Um, so yeah, I can easily see them since they're all kind of together. And so you see I have, this is probably the tallest bottle in here and this is Lieb EDT. Uh, but then all the rest of them are pretty short and honestly, I feel like I don't use this section very much But I think it's just because I don't know These are just not ones that I find myself grabbing gravitating to a ton But I have some seven virtues in here. I have contour suit pacifique my Mont Blanc signature my one Narciso Rodriguez fragrance a couple other random brands like Diptyque and Frank Beauclay so that's that little section here. So let me push it back where it's supposed to go. So now we're on this front tray and I'm kind of trying to give y'all an angle from like all around. So this is from one side. And then if you look at it from the top, it holds quite a few fragrances. There was a point in time where this was my only fragrance storage. So I had all my fragrances on this tray and then the ones that I wasn't using at the time, like say if it was winter and I had all my summer fragrances, I had them away in a box, but I found that I did not use my fragrances like that. So that's when I started storing all my fragrances out for me to see so that I could like actually use them. Cause I would forget about them when they're in the box y'all. I really would. So anyway, we're on this front section and I will say with this section, 
I do try to keep bottles up front that I like the way they look <laughs> because when I walk into my closet that's kind of what I see first so I see this and then I see my little cupcake stand and I see my other fragrances back there at the top so those I kind of like to make sure look nicer because they are what I really see when I walk in the closet okay so I switched the view so you can kind of see the fragrances better but in this section of the tray I have all my Mancera fragrances so I think I have about six of those now and then I have a couple from Jean Paul Gaultier a couple Dolce & Gabbana over here including this pineapple bottle that always stands out because of the top I have my one one and only Gucci fragrance. I only have one fragrance from Gucci. I don't really use this anymore, but I do love the smell of it. It's quite comforting to me. And then kind of some other brands that are kind of standalone, like Cardet Carner Barcelona. I only have one from them. I have one Boho Boco, which is wet cherry liquor. I have a couple from Essential Parfums. And then I have all my replica fragrances here. So my um Mason Margiela replica fragrances. Have my little Joe Malone section here. And this one that I love, Nobel 1942. It's the only one that I have from the brand. And then I have all my BDKs here. So one, two, three, four of those. And then in this front row, y'all kind of already saw it, but I have my two from the Guerlain private line. I have these two from Atar collection, which I really love the bottles on them. My little another 13 sitting there because it's an easy reach for me. And then my two uh, from the Armani Privé line. I really love the, the way these bottles look. So I wasn't going to show y'all this section, but we're keeping it 100 over here. So <laughs> don't judge me, y'all. Y'all can judge me. It's embarrassing, honestly. Like this is just a mess over here. But this is a little part of my closet. I don't know if you guys can tell. But so this is the island. And then I have these two little like shelves over here that I have more perfume on. And these are basically just like all decants. I have decanted myself and travel sprays, like travel spray sets like this Killian one. I think I have House of Siage. And then I also have some ganache perfumes back there, which I really don't reach for, but I'm not really ready to get rid of them yet. Um, so that's why they're back there. And then on the second shelf, um, I know you probably can't see it good, but on the second shelf, I have a couple of Zara fragrances and fragrances that I typically wear to like Pilates or stuff like that, like little light fresh fragrances or huge bottle fragrances like this one that really don't fit into my collection. Let me pull this out so y'all can see it. Ooh. So like this big bottle would take up way too much space if it was up there. And this is kind of a... Uh, I don't want to say it's a throwaway scent, but it's it's a it's a scent that I use, but not that much. And it's kind of like more so just for fun, like almost almost kind of put it in body splash category. So, yeah, those kind of scents are down here. So since we're sharing everything, I might as well share this little tray here, too. This tray is on my nightstand and this is like cuticle oil, but I have two fragrances here, so I figured I might as well share them. But this is Cloud by Ariana Grande and bubble bath from replica and the reason that these fragrances are in here is because i like to use them for linen spray like i really don't even spray them on my body anymore i spray my sheets or my curtains with them from time to time i do switch it up like i have actual linen sprays but these two i kind of never spray on my body so i figured they didn't need to be in my closet taking up space <laughs> because i really only use them on my bedding so this is the last place I have fragrance and this is my fragrance tray. So sometimes I use this for weekly fragrances, but these two fragrances I'm testing out this week, that's why they're on this tray. I just got them. They have not made their way into my collection yet. So they're on this tray because I'm testing them out to review for you all. So this is the new Tom Ford Cherry Smoke and Tom Ford Electric Cherry. I'm pretty sure that review should already be posted by the time you all see this video, um, but I did want to mention it because they are technically a part of my fragrance collection. All right, so that is it. That was my entire fragrance collection. Now I am kicking you guys out of my closet and you you all should feel honored, honestly, because this closet doesn't get seen by everybody. When people come to our house, they hardly ever make it all the way up here into the closet. So feel special. <laughs> I'm just kidding but anyway um i hope you all enjoyed this video let me know if you want to know more about like a certain brand that you might have seen in this video um or if you have video suggestions leave that down in the comment section below as well because i am planning content for the year i mean i'm not going to plan out a whole year obviously but i do um take your ideas into consideration and add them to my list of running video ideas if you enjoyed this video 
please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you are not already. I typically upload videos three times a week, so definitely make sure you have your notification bells on so that you don't miss a video from me. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me over there. We keep it real chill. We chit chat in the DMs and the stories. And I am hoping to become a little bit more active on Instagram this year. So definitely follow me over there if you're not already. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.